my name is Tyler and I'm a third year medical student at Wits University and I'm just going to chat about my experience and my journey going through the GAMP program to get into medicine and yeah so I'm just going to start in the beginning. I matriculated in 2016 and initially I didn't actually apply for medicine straight off of matric. I through you know grade 10 grade 11 grade 12 when you kind of figuring out what you want to do i was so set in forensics and forensic medicine or forensic science like i thought that was you know 100 percent where my life was going so i really only applied to degrees that would get me there either through direct routes or you know indirect routes whatever and i stumbled upon bhsc um adverts and it kind of it ticked all my boxes. I mean, it had the medicine side of things, the science side of things, and it was just like the perfect combination for me. So I started off, you know, going through first year and f first and second year are the same between BHSC and medicine. So through that, I realized like medicine is 100% like what I want to do. So I'm going to start off in first year. It was very general, like the subjects were super general, you know, physics, chem, you know, like a first year for every degree, it's just like a mix of everything. So like, I feel like you can't really decide what is your passion and what you are excelling at because it's just so spread out. I don't know. And also first year was like a lot of fun. I enjoyed myself and I wasn't super focused on marks because I was in the degree I wanted to be in and I was in the career path or I was on my way to the career that I wanted to, you know, one day be in. So I was very chilled, just loved life. And I had no pressure to do super well because I was just getting by and, I, you know, I was having fun first year things. <laughs> so then second year came along and that it becomes a lot more focused. So uh, we were doing anatomy, molecular medicine, physiology as our like main subjects. And I was like, okay, this is what I want to do. And that's when I decided I want to get into medicine and like, this is what I want to do. And with that realization came like a huge amount of pressure. I mean, as anyone trying to get into medicine will know, like it's very competitive um you need to be on top of your game which is it's stressful it's a lot of pressure but I was so happy to have found like my passion because I hadn't felt that before even though I thought that forensics was my passion I realized by how hard I was working and how much I was enjoying everything that this is exactly what I want to do and it just it sat right so from that moment whenever that moment occurred I was like I'm going to work my butt off to get into medicine and yeah it wasn't easy like second year was super super challenging but I was enjoying it with the stress and all of that came with it um so my goal in second year was just to exempt because if I could exempt then I wouldn't have to write the WAPT exam at the end of third year so I was like cool this is my goal I'm going to exempt try get as high average as possible because obviously they take your last two years of study average and so I was like cool this is like my chance I'm gonna exempt and do as well as I can and luckily I exempted which was so exciting it was obviously it was tough and to exempt you need to get over 60 and it seems like oh it's just 60 but it was really really tough to you know you can't drop the ball on any one major and they concurrently really difficult because the workload is increasing and um you know like personally I wasn't used to studying such large volumes and you know having to maintain consistency through all three so like it was it was tough but like I was really like blessed that I was able to exempt and um it was not without a lot of hard work a lot of sleepless nights a little bit of breakdowns but like it was worth it I suppose and then came third year third year we got to choose a major so I chose physiology and then at that point I think things are changing now but we had to take FHD which is fundamentals of health and disease so um, that was compulsory but I got to choose physiology and 
I loved physiology. It was so, it was such a good major to take because it once again just focused my passion. And I was like, yep, definitely want to get into medicine just in case I wasn't sure. I was like, this is what I want to do. And even now, like it's super relevant. Everything I learned in third year is coming up now again in third year repeat third year um but so yeah so I definitely love physiology and um I worked really hard because you know obviously you have to to get the marks and whatever so at the end of my degree my degree average was 69 percent which obviously isn't that great but like I said first year was very chilled um, but my last two years of study, my average was 74%. Um, so they, they, I'm just reading my questions here. It was like, why didn't I get into medicine after my trick? So like I said, I didn't really apply. Well, I didn't apply to get into medicine. Um, and why didn't I write WAT is because I exempted my second year of study. And I think that only applies if you do BHSC. So because it's the, the parallel of medicine for year one and year two, the exemption is the same as writing a WAT. So it didn't get, it doesn't like get you any extra points. It just excludes you from writing WAT as a whole. And yeah, so the last part is just advice that I would give to future gamers. And I kind of struggled with this one because I was thinking about it and I'm like, what would I have liked to hear last year this time or, you know, whenever along my journey wanting to get into medicine? And I think for me, what I wish I, I could tell myself was that you you shouldn't listen to, I know this sounds a bit contradictory because like I'm telling you what to do, but um, I feel like there's so many people in along the path of getting into medicine that tell you oh it's so difficult you know it's so competitive barely anyone makes it um you really need to like have a better plan of action kind of thing like don't make this your plan a and you know after a lot of times of hearing that you yourself can get very derailed and like think to yourself what's the point of me trying so hard what's the point of me stressing so much when it seems impossible and it, it sounds so cliche, but like, I really believe that if you know that this is what you want to do and you know that this is where your passion lies, you cannot let anyone tell you otherwise, because as soon as you get that gets in your head, you know, you're fighting not only the system and not only the, comp the competition, but you're fighting yourself. And I feel like if you need anyone, you need yourself. You need your your support. You need your own motivation because at the end of the day, there's no one else that's going to be able to pick you up after a bad test, after a bad week at university, after feeling like you're not going to get in. The only person that can pick you up is yourself and you need to keep picking yourself up because it's a long journey and it's, it's a very, very testing process because it really pushes you to your limits, you know, like that feeling of, of no matter how good I or how well I perform in this test or how amazing my average is you never truly know if it's good enough until you get in so I just think you need to be really strong and really push yourself and don't listen to the negative advice or the people that are like you know telling you that it's unrealistic to get into medicine through GIMP because of this and this reason you really just need to know within yourself that if this is what you want to do, you don't stop until you get there because it's never too late. Like sometimes you think to yourself, oh, but like I'll be one year older, I'll be two years older, I'll be 10 years older. It doesn't matter because you always will land up where you need to be and you need to just hold that and do as well as you can do. And if it doesn't work out, you try again because if something is your passion, you just need to go for it. It's so important. Like You need to make sure that if something makes you happy and you know it's where you need to be, you, you get there because you are capable and you cannot let anyone tell you otherwise. So that was my little 
my motivational talk for today but i really hope this helps and yeah good luck our greatest glory is never in falling but in rising every time we fall if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these thank you to the new subscribers very much appreciated